The Easy V was created, of course, for its V ranging technology, which is super cool. But what we don't talk about a lot is it, it's a pin sight. You can shoot it on anything, everywhere that you've always been, how you've always done it. So, first and foremost, the V inserts have tick marks that are mathematically perfect for your bow. That's why you get a whole set of them in your package. They're mathematically perfect. So, if you were to buy a pin sight that was dialed in for your bow off the shelf, all the pins were where they were supposed to be. You just gang adjusted to get those pins in the accordance where they're supposed to be for your specs of your bow. You'd sight in with for minutes, and that's what the Easy V does because that hard math has already been done. All those increments are mathematically perfect. For that reason alone, it's a better pin sight. Not to mention, it's indestructible. Okay, you, you wouldn't do that with your fiber optics of any sight on the planet. There's no way. How, have you ever pulled your bow up into the tree stand and then you look and all your fibers are broken? They hit something either on the on the walk into the woods or or dragging it up into the tree. So, I mean, it's an indestructible pin sight as well. I get lots and lots of emails. How do you shoot this? How do you shoot that? And we'll talk about V ranging in the next video going pro, but it's a pin sight first and foremost that you can shoot anything like you've always done. Well, how, how is that possible? So again, in the past, if you had a fixed pin, multiple pin sight, say you had a 20 and a 30 yard pin, and you were to shoot this little tiny spot here, it doesn't have to be a mass of so big to use the EZV sight. You can shoot any size target. If this was your 20 and this was your 30 yard pin, and you were gonna shoot it for 25 yards, okay, here would be 20, there would be 25 yards, and that would be 30 yards, right? So 25, a lot of people shoot the in-betweens better than they do the fixed distance, and there's such a reason why. The pin bobbing, that it's low, now it's high, now it's left, as you're holding and you're trying to aim, that imperfection of that aiming is what builds that anxiety and eventually goes into target panic, and, and it's so crippling if you've ever gotten it. So quite a few guys and gals shoot, say, 25 better because even though their bow is still doing that movement, your focus is on that spot, and you don't perceive that movement so much. So anyways, 20 yards, 25, 30 with fixed pins. We're just doing it this way, okay? in between the tick marks. So every every Easy V insert has mathematical tick marks for 20 yards, 30 yards, 40 yards, depending on how fast your bow is, how many tick marks I can get in there. Some of them go out to 100, some of them only go to 40 for the like the 240, 220 feet per second inserts, but they're they're mathematically perfect. So forget the mass, forget the lungs, forget the V for a second just centering it if I was going to shoot this little spot a tic-tac you're just going to center it between those tick marks that would be 20 25 is in between the 20 and the 30 tick marks and your mind will center it left and right take your fingers at home and just in between your fingernails frame something in between your fingernails you'll see how natural it is how you can how you can do that back to this again this is not hard for your mind whatsoever to split that difference. In fact, we can even shoot 27 yards or 28 yards or 29 yards, then 30. You can proportionately space that. Your mind is a supercomputer. So this is not new and you'll find it so natural. Obviously, I built the Easy V because of its V ranging capabilities, but what we have learned now three years from running and thousands and thousands of sites and feedback back is that we're shooting better than we ever thought of pin. When I built the Easy V, the goal was, and I was a pretty good archer, still am, but archery and bow hunting are very different. I used to be able to hit little spots far, 80, 90, even 100 yards. I was such a bow geek that I got all this fancy archery equipment so that I could hit little stuff at 100 yards. And I get these emails, let me see you shoot a group at 100 yards. But yet, even though I was a really good archer, I still missed animals at 37 and 43. And as you know, the, the whole season can boil down to a few seconds. So anyways, 
I built the V for its ranging, and we're going to talk about that more later, but you can always do what you've always done. You can certainly range that spot and shoot it for 27 yards is going to be just above your 30, right? There's 20, there's 22, 24. In fact, having the walls help you frame it is far better than floating on two pins. You still have to align your left and right because you're floating with no alignment whatsoever. Where with the V, you have those borders. So we have, with this, we have a 20 and a 30. And I have to guess everything in between. With the V, I have 21, 22, 23, 24. You have that framework to make those increments. So you're just framing it centered back and forth and just framing that spot in between there, shooting it like pins. Look at this first picture on our sight in target, which I absolutely recommend that you go to. You'll see our lung target with our V at 20 yards side to side nine and three o'clock that arrow is going to go dead in the center so a lot of guys talk about you know they, they kind of kid us about the mass of the v ranging it, it, to keep arrows within a basketball oh oh no this is this will put the arrows in the very dead center of that mass the center of a tiny circle is the same as the center of a really big circle but even more so coming back to me here if I was going to aim at this little tiny spot, okay, with a pin, say I have one pin, you have, I'm going to grab two pins. If I had a 20 and 30 pin and I was going to shoot at 20, you also have to keep that bow level because you're only pivoting on one anchor point, if you will, of your aiming strategy. Your mind is only on one perhaps pivoting spot. You're, you better be watching your bubble level. If you're a little bit off, you're going to throw that arrow right or left, correct? So the bubble is crucial. With the V, we're anchoring two points, okay? Whether it's on the mass or on a spot, because you've got two points of anchoring your aim, we're finding it's far more accurate than a pin ever was. Not to mention, with a pin, it's annoying to block out what it is you're trying to to focus on isn't that annoying when you're trying to look at something and this big thing you're peeking around the pin all the time and that's how it is when you're aiming the pin covers up most of the target most of the time and it's certainly your stack of pins cover everything that's on its way your path of the arrow to get there but you're constantly peeking you got this thing in the way of what you're trying to focus on it's high, it's low, it's left and right. You're trying to keep it in the middle, but your mind wants to peek around it and make sure that it's there. It, this is, we've done it for years and years. I know you guys do it really well, but when you open up your field of view and your laser focus eyes are right where you want that arrow to go, you know, we say pick a spot, but then cover it up with a pin. That doesn't make a lot of sense. When I can pick a spot on an animal, a hair, if you will, and I can just frame it and center it between 21, 22, 23, 30. I can see what I'm trying to hit. We're finding your mind can repeat it. There's only two steps to mastering all of archery. Step one is shoot a bullseye. Step two is repeat step one, which sounds kind of silly, but archery is 90% mental. And when your brain is calm and you can see what you're wanting to hit, and even though your bow's moving, just like everybody else's does, the pros when they're aiming, their bow moves a lot less than mine, but my bow's still moving, but my eyes are here, and there's nothing moving here. So even though my bow's wiggling around as I'm aiming a little bit, the movement is out here removed from my focus, and I can focus on it. So you remember when you were in driver's ed and you were driving a car? Man, it was everything you could do to keep that bumper within the lines. Your focus was on the lines, and then you run into the car in front of you. Well. When you get shooting this, you'll find now that you're an experienced driver, we just look where we're going and you notice the lines, but you really never look at them anymore. And that's how this turns into whether you're shooting it tick mark as pins or V ranging as we will go to in the next video, you'll notice the ticks are horizontally lined up with the spot you're trying to hit, but you, 
your focus is where you want to go, right at that spot. So take a look at this next picture. You'll see the V at 30 yards. It's the second tick mark. Okay, and then the third picture here, here's how it looks at 40 yards. So go through these increments when you're sighting in, and it's just gang adjust. The Easy V operates so simply, vertical on the side of the sight, windage left and right with the bolt in the front of the sight. If it hits to the left, you move it to the left. If it hits high, you, on the side bolt, you move the whole thing high. You're just gang adjusting, wiggling those increments in. They're already mathematically perfect for your bow if you watched our tutorial on how to pick the correct insert. We have to have the correct insert, but then gang adjust. If your arrows are going high, move them high. If they're hitting left, move them left. See 20, 30, 40 on this paper target, and then 25 is in between the tick marks, 35 in between the tick marks, 37. There's nothing you can't do with the Easy V that you can do with your pin sight. It does everything except break. Look at this next video picture on the deer. You'll see this deer, count the tick marks there, 20, 30, 42, 44 yards would be center, top of the heart, center of those lungs. Shoot it like pins if you want. You want to range your trees, you can range your deer if it gives you that amount of time and just pull it up and shoot it as a pin sight, but you'll be able to see where that arrow's going and you'll be able to see if there's anything in the way of that arrow to get there. Super important. Look at this next picture of these little black dots. It's not a mass, it's not a big circle lung, it's just a tiny dot like a tic tac. See the top tick marks 20, second tick mark 30 yards. It's just centered between there, centered left and right in the V and right in line with the 30 yard tick marks. If it was a little further, 37 yards, you just lift those tick marks and center that object in there. Let's go now to a picture of the elk. See this beautiful big bull elk? If you're not into the V ranging, these guys only give you a few seconds, but anything you can do with a pin, you can do with an easy V. Count the tick marks, 20, 30, kind of right in between, I'm going to say it's 29 yards is where I'm going to shoot that bull as pins, if I was to use the Easy V as a pin sight. 29 yards, then done. Check out this next picture of this turkey. Count the tick marks. Top one's 20, but next one's 30. So right in between there, I'm guess it's like 21, 22 yards. We're going to center punch that turkey right where we want it. Again, it wasn't designed to shoot 12 rings on ASA tournaments, but you can sure do that, and you'll do it better. Your focus will be where you want that arrow to go. Let's look at a little small game. This kind of throws, guys. We get a lot of questions. How do I use it for, for small game? And we'll talk about the V-ranging of it, but again, look at this chipmunk. Look at the tick marks. You want to put that arrow right between his, his two shoulder blades, right in the center of his chest. Just count the tick marks. There's 20, there's 30, but if you put a pin on this guy, you won't see him. He'll disappear behind the pin. Then you're peeking even worse because you can't even see if you're in the middle of the animal or not. It's a constant, put it there, take it away, put it there, take it away, that's the center. Send it and hope for the best, where with the V, you can see what you're trying to hit and you'll frame it right up.